Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading. Today's reading is going to be a past, present, future reading. I was called to do a past, present, future reading so we'll sp see what messages Spirit wants to give to you regarding your past, present, and future energy. Also, I wanted to take the time to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch and for your donations and the personal reading requests. It's, it's You guys have really been one of the brightest blessings I've had in my life. As some of you know, I started this channel um, last fall in order to help me focus on something positive after a difficult thing occurred in my life. So thank you guys so much. I am so grateful and abundantly blessed to just share a brief moment of your day on a daily basis. And I send you abundant blessings. Let's dive in, Pisces. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come here. Please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance. Pisces, oh, hold on one second, guys. We have the five of pentacles coming out. So some of you, again, this may have been some of you going through a difficult time. We'll see if it comes out in the reading. Please connect with their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages we have for you today, Pisces. So let's, what's been going on in your past that Spirit wants you to know about? We have the Three of Pentacles, partnerships, projects, work situations. Also, this is about bringing your skills forward to build something. We'll get clarification also, Pisces. Then we have the King of Swords. This is a leadership position or authority speaking your truth the king of swords also references masculine air energy libra gemini and gemini so some of you could have been in partnership or working with somebody that has air in their chart or is very the king of swords also speaks to people with higher education degrees they can also have um darker features like darker hair darker skin darker eyes and then we have the three of swords so we ultimately see in the past some type of heartache and pain as a result of a partnership or something you were trying to really bring forward to create. We'll get clarification again in just a moment to see what's going on there. And what does Pisces need to know for their present? Magician baby, manifesting, having the skills and abilities to create a life of your dreams. Queen of Wands, being in your power, Pisces, the past may have took from you, but you're in a position to reclaim all that beauty back. Then three of wands, you're just ready. You are waiting and you are ready for everything to come together. And in your near future, we have the queen of swords. You're sitting there and you are going to be making, going forward, very clear, logical, correct decisions for yourself and for your path. The right choices. We have the moon. You may not see all the details yet. Um, the moon is also a card of Pisces, but things are going to come together, even though you don't necessarily see how. So with the moon and the high priestess next to each other, these are both, both extremely intuitive cards of the subconscious of needing to, with the queen of swords here, spirit is, was just telling me, you will be making the best choices for yourself going forward. If you heed your intuition, Pisces, listen to what your gut's telling you. Listen to the signs, symbols, synchronicities. Don't ignore it. You may have, some of you may have a tendency to dismiss things as, oh, that's just whatever. That's not really a sign or that's, you know, just to diminish. Some of you also have a, a track record or history of diminishing or minimizing your feelings or your gut instincts or your intuition. So this is kind of, it's not kind of, it's spirit saying you have your intuition for a reason, Pisces. Now let's go ahead and get clarification for this. I'll make a little bit of room here and we'll see what is going on. Spirit, please come near and clarify this message for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about this three of pentacles in the past? What do you want Pisces to know about this three of pentacles? What is this three of pentacles for Pisces in the past, please? Thank you. And we have the death. So there's definitely an ending in a project or a partnership. But from you going through that, it definitely had a lasting impact on you. It was transformational. Um, I just heard you learned a, a lesson from that as well. What else does Pisces need to know about this three of pentacles for their past? You transformed and 
the death card and the chariot, you can't go back to the way things were or the way you were. You are forever changed from this. And as a result of what, if this is a project or a partnership, whatever this resonates as for you, something you were trying to create or build or go forward with, it ended so you could go forward in a different direction that was more in alignment with your truth. What is this King of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? Okay. Look at this, guys. I mean, come on now. So this King of Swords, there's something very important here about the King of Swords in your past. And I'm getting with the Six of Wands. This is about the discernment, about the seeing clearly, and about having a keen vision for yourself and your path and coming more fully into alignment. So it will place you in a position of not only valuing yourself, but ensuring that the people you roll with or the people, the environment you allow yourself to be in is one that's going to be uplifting to you. And you're not going to participate with people who do not appreciate your value. What is this three of swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this three of swords? What is this three of swords in Pisces past, please? Thank you. Judgment. So it woke you the heck up. This was a huge wake up call. Um, whatever pain, whatever loss, whatever heartache this was for you in the past or recent past, it was definitely an awakening. It happened on purpose, um, on a soul level here with this judgment card to awaken you and course correct and to push you. And like what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing a boat, like a sailboat with, um, what the rudder. And it's like, it, it was like the rudder to get you going in the right direction again. So Spirit, what is this Magician card for Pisces in the present? What is this Magician card for Pisces in the present, please? What is this Magician card for Pisces in the present, please? What do you want? And we have the Seven of Wands, but that, let's see. What, what is this Magician card, please? Thank you. So here we have a few things. For the magician, we're getting the seven of wands, the hangman. So you're learning to see things from a new perspective and you're standing your ground. Having gone through the very dynamic, challenging circumstances of the past, it made you have form new boundaries, healthier boundaries, and stand your ground in your truth um, because you have a new perspective now. And I just heard, and for some of you, you're not afraid to let go of what's no longer working. You're no longer allowing yourself to have these illusions. And you've come into your strength. Because you understand your value and you see the truth, the sun is a card of clarity and cleansing out. And now you're going forward to manifest something new for yourself. The two of wands is that choice. When you... And the magician is that manifestation. So here you have the world in your hands, Pisces, and you're at the, the precipice of making a choice of what you want to go forward and manifest into your life. But you're doing it with a clearer, more keen vision as a result of going through the heartache and the pain of the past. You are now awoken to what's a better fit for you. What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces? What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces in the present? What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces in the present, please? And the Queen of Wands also has the sun's flower, right? So the wand is going forward and creating because in our right hands, we put out into the world the, the right chakra, you put out energy and in the left chakra, you receive the energy. So putting out that creative energy and that new beginning, that Ace of Wands energy here with the one wand and then receiving this abundant sunshine. What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces? What is, thank you. And here we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords. Absolutely. You are seeing with the truth and clarity that you are going to move forward. You're moving differently. You're having a plan for your life, a new vision. Because of the experience of the past, you're moving forward in discernment. We have the Queen of Swords here. Here we have the King of Swords twice with the Sword of Truth, which is mastering. The Kings are about mastery of an area. And the King of Swords is about mastering your mindset, mastering your thought patterns, mastering your choices. 
and here that's because you went through very difficult situations where you learned some very valuable life lessons and here with the queen of wands we see you in fact choosing to have this new beginning in order to move forward towards your sunflower right or your sunshine what is this three of wands for pisces please spirit what do you want pisces to know about this three of wands what is this three of wands for pisces please thank you for the three of wands and we have three cards which is interesting we have the three of swords. So they're, you're turning your back on heartache and pain and you're moving beyond it. You're, you're moving towards growth and expansion, having experienced, I'm hearing a number of setbacks, a number of heartaches, a, a number of pains and losses. And we have the moon card again. You, Some of you are overcoming depression and and tapping as a result of the heartache and pain, it put you in a dark place for a while, but you're moving on from that and coming back. You're returning to yourself and returning to your life of beauty and coming back into the understanding of your true value and appreciation for yourself and what you have to offer. And I mean, standing on your own two feet in, in your full radiance. What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces in the near future? What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces? In the near future please spirit and we have the page of wands what else do we need to know about this queen of swords for pisces in the near future what else do we need to know about this queen of swords for pisces <clears throat> pardon me please so let me get a sip real quick <clears throat> all right guys so here we have the queen of swords in the near future the page of wands speaks about messages or news coming forward towards you. So there, some of you could definitely be receiving a news about some something very successful or that gives you a sense of completion. For others of you, this is move, you moving into a new cycle. The pages are early phase energy. So this also references a new beginning. This is your choice to move forward to a new cycle towards your own success. What is this moon card for Pisces in the near future? What is this moon card for Pisces in the near future, please, Spirit? Thank you, quite a few, let me see. Hold on, so then we have the Queen of Wands again, the Queen of Wands right under the Queen of Wands. So, you know, at the core of your energy is your return to your value of self, return to your self-confidence, being empowered. Some of you are starting to bring your creative energies forward to build things for yourself and to create this new, beautiful, abundant life. And the moon card is also a card about creativity and creative energy, spiritual gifts. So some of you may be working to bring those forward in some type of business venture as well. Let's see what else. And we have the page of swords. This is Again, speaking your truth, seeing your truth regarding what makes you happy. In the past, you some of you settled, some of you allowed yourself to remain in unfortunate situations for whatever reason, because that is where you were at that point in time. But that is not where you need to remain, Pisces, nor shall you remain there. Because you are the Queen of Cups, baby, right? This is your energy coming you know, you, we're seeing that you have exercised discernment. You have cut off things. You have come back into your power. Harness the energy of your manifestation power and abilities and said, you know what? Screw the past. Screw the punk. Screw whatever it was. I'm moving forward, empowered, and in alignment with myself. Look at this. You are every queen. I'm surprised the empress has not come out yet. We have, oh, and we have the Queen of Swords too. We have every queen. You have gone through all these experiences, Pisces. I mean, well, and also Pisces is every single sign in the Zodiac. So where we see you arriving to, or the near-term energy is coming fully into your value and recognizing the truth of your own expansion within yourself. The Three of Wands speaks of growth and expansion. And oftentimes we, as we look at the three of wands, we see, you know, looking out. So we think, oh, growth and expansion's on the outside of us. It's out, outer. But what's happening here, Pisces, is a growth and expansion is occurring within you on a divine nature and a divine order. 
where you know you're you're starting to come out of the dark and realize more fully the truth that you embody you are the embodiment of beauty creativity and all the other zodiac signs and their traits as well what is this high priestess for pisces in the near future what is this okay so here for the high priestess we have the knight of pentacles let me see the two of pentacles so this could be a change of work or turning a hobby into passive income let me see what else is going on here you're going to have a new beginning. There's going to be a choice to have some type of new change as a result of this paradigm shift, as a result of valuing yourself more highly. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. We have the Tower, the King of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. I'm, I need to get another deck and ask what this Five of Pentacles is. So the King of Cups is emotional mastery over any hardship here. Let me, let me see. Spirit, what is, what is this tower, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this tower? What do you want Pisces to know about this tower, please? Thank you. So sud suddenly and unexpectedly, you're going to... I, I hear blessed. You'll suddenly be blessed with a new opportunity. What is this King of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Cups? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about? That's in alignment with your calling. Here, in the past, Pisces. Wow, thank you, Spirit. In the past, you awoken as a result of the pain. It was like um, the light switch, right? It's like, oh, you have pain. Here, flip. You know, we're going to change this. We're going to... That's not, that's not the best analogy that I want to use. Well, anyway, it was, it was the catalyst, right? The pain catalyzed you to wait, awaken or, or to see things different or to move differently on your path. And here, as a result of this change, you are going to come into um, one more card for this. Hold on. One more card for this King of Cups, please. One more card for this King of Cups, please, Spirit. Please be very clear. One more card for this king. Okay, we have a few. So for this King of Cups, we're getting the Judgment, the Page of Swords. Again, a truth and awakening. I'm feeling like the Four of Swords here is about connection. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups again, and Temperance. There's going to be a, a healing over your life. We have the Five of Pentacles. Let me see what this is. One second. What is this five of pentacles for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the four of pentacles. There's going to be a restoration. There's going to be a restoration for what was lost. A reversal. A reversal is going to take place in your life soon or in the near future as a result of you reclaiming yourself, reclaiming your power and moving away from the difficulties of the past. Um. Heed your intuition as you move forward and it will help guide you appropriately. I, I just heard don't backpedal, Pisces. Let me see. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. So it's interesting that um, normally I, I like to lay my cards out very orderly, but here we, we got a little bit messy. So as you go forward, Pisces, things are going to be um pretty orderly pretty um methodical for you in the near in the present you know you're going kind of step by step it might make sense but in the near future as you go forward you will be making the right choices you may feel as though you're off track but you're not if you Continue to listen to your intuition and listen to your gut. Listen to the signs and synchronicities and the guidance you're being provided from spirit. You may feel as though you're lost, but you're on track. It's just with the moon and the high priestess, not everything's being revealed to you. So this is definitely going to have to be a walk you take in faith and with connection with divine. Because otherwise, you could very much feel at sea and fall off your path again because you you feel, you may feel as though well things aren't working for me this isn't this isn't right like what what's missing here you could feel as though there is a void but it's not it's 
the void you may be feeling is the actual presence of things coming together as we have with the temperance spirit one card for the overall message of this reading for pisces and we have base chakra stay grounded make sure you're taking care of yourself really you know taking time to meditate drink water go out in nature you know here even if it's watching the water here you know i try to help right Let's see what else awareness so we have the magician again here definitely you know you're getting signs and synchronicities um try to be tuned in and tapped in um and basically turn turn your radio dial to really get that station with divine coming in and prosperity begins so it seems you you're in line here for beautiful things transpiring and coming together in your life you've definitely gone through significant hardship in your past but you've done a fabulous job. You've stood your ground. You've seen the truth about certain circumstances and you have moved accordingly to your truth. And for some of you, you're still in the process of doing that. But here we see that you're standing your ground. You're having a new perspective, which is born out of clarity and truth and awakening, which is helping you move forward in alignment with your truth and helping you to reclaim your energy and to more fully come into appreciation of yourself and the value you have and understand that growth and expansion is, is not outside of you, but within you. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.